Welcome back to the Green Yard. It is a beautiful uh, end of February day here in Phoenix, Arizona. It's actually almost 80 degrees today. We've been having about a week, week and a half or so of uh, 80 degree temperatures with the lows being in the mid 50s. I think uh, two days from now, we're actually supposed to reach lows in the upper 60s, or I'm sorry, the mid 60s, um, which is kind of nice that we're starting to warm up a little bit. Um, we're over here in the pool part of the green yard, this part of the green yard where we have uh, our bananas, right? Uh, here in the green yard, we have our ice cream bananas, which is this guy right here with this big rack. Uh, we actually have four bunches or uh, four clumps of ice cream bananas here in the pool part of the green yard. That's our most prolific banana right now, that blue java, that ice cream banana. And then we also have uh, our um, dwarf cavendish banana which is over in the far side uh far corner there of the pool part and then we have uh, our dwarf namo as well which we're going to talk about today we do have some other kind of ornamental plants here as well this is our angel trumpet tree that we planted uh last summer and actually managed to get it to make through this get it through the summer right uh and it's doing very very well putting off a lot of new growth our inga or our ice cream bean is behind me here uh, mexican red guava as well as uh, several plumerias around here too so uh, a little bit ornamental some fruiting uh, we kind of have a, a good mixture here in the pool part of the green yard and hopefully going to be adding some more here soon but the reason we're here is for a harvesting video i love our harvesting videos it's awesome because uh, not only do i get to share with you uh, all of you that we uh, actually can grow these uh, fruiting uh, tropical trees here in the phoenix area it's also awesome because then i get to eat uh, that fruit as well and so we're over here with our dwarf namwa banana here um, i've harvested and done a couple harvesting videos on our blue javas our ice cream bananas delicious bananas a little bit on the smaller side here in phoenix um, and i've noticed that uh, this is their third year of of production right uh, and the banana clumps gradually are getting bigger and bigger and bigger these bunches these bunches of bananas are getting bigger in size although i have noticed that banana bunches in the winter time right in the late fall to the early spring are on the much smaller side than our uh, banana racks in the summertime right we actually have a banana rack coming out right now on our dwarf namwa with some really big big bananas on it so i think we're going to have a really really good rack of dwarf nama bananas here uh, probably by the end of our summer this one though that we're harvesting today this has been on the tree since last fall this uh, really small rack of our dwarf nama bananas and we're going to go ahead and harvest it today because we do have some of these really small bananas that are turning yellow and are ripening so let's go ahead let's talk a little bit more about growing our dwarf nama bananas here in the phoenix area let's harvest this rack and try it out here we go All right, so this is our dwarf Namwa rack of bananas here. You can see I never actually cut the flower off of the bottom of this banana bunch. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. I have noticed that uh, when I do cut the flower off of the bunch, I usually get a little bit larger bananas. Uh, so that might be another reason why these bananas are just so small uh, right now. Um, but this is what that banana flower looks like. Um, you can use it in, in culinary, uh, right, for cooking. You take out these male flowers and you actually uh, basically take them apart and then you end up uh, cooking them. And I have tried it once. Uh, they're pretty good. They taste like, uh, you know, I added it to a stir fry so I didn't taste them directly, but they did add a little bit of extra flavor to that stir fry. Our dwarf namwas themselves. So this is actually my only bunch of dwarf namwa uh, bananas here in the green yard. I had them at our old house. Uh, and when we uh, bought the green yard and we moved in, I actually took a pup 
Um, a puff is one of these smaller um, kind of shoots that comes off the corn, which is the actual plant that's underground. And I took a puff out of the ground at our old yard and I brought it here and I placed it here in the uh, pool part of the green yard and has been growing ever since. Um, this is the first rack I've ever harvested of our, our dwarf namwas. Um, I have heard they're very good bananas. I know they're from Thailand. They're uh, an Asian variety of bananas and I've heard they're very good. Uh, so I'm excited to try this little tiny guy uh, today and see how it is. Um, our dwarf nama bananas are just like our ice cream bananas. They actually do very, very well here in the Phoenix area. They handle our sun and our heat like a champ. Uh, they handle our cold very well as well. Uh, you'll notice they'll die back in the, um, in the winter, but they do always uh, keep that stock nice and green. And we've noticed this year with our winter that um, even uh, though we got decently cold, we still have these um, banana racks on the, the tree as well, which hasn't always happened before. Sometimes they get frost burnt and they kind of shrivel up and die. So as our bananas are getting older, they're actually handling that cold a lot better, the, the plant itself, right? So um, since these are a dwarf variety, they're not, you know, 12, 15 feet off the ground like our ice cream bananas are. Uh, these are actually only about, what, four feet off the ground or so. Um, so I don't have to, you know, take the stock out or anything. I will once I've harvested it, um, but I'm not going to at this moment in time. I'm simply going to take my saw that I have here and take my rack and just simply uh, kind of saw the top part, right, until our rack comes off. So this is our Dwarf Namwa banana rack. Um, really small, there's only, let's see. So remember each of these clumpings of bananas is called a hand. So we have one, two, three, four, five, about six hands on here. And these bananas are, are really tiny. Uh, they're only maybe an inch, inch and a half in length. Uh, so definitely one of our winter bananas. Like I said before, I've noticed that, that I've noticed that when we harvest in the summer or even beginning of fall, we get much larger bananas than um, in the winter or early spring. This is the banana that's ripe it's right here. Uh, super excited for this guy. Like I said, I haven't tried namwas before. I've tried the ice cream bananas, but not the namwas. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and peel this guy back. I know it's only an uh, inch and a half of banana, but uh, still pretty excited. Really good tasting banana. Definitely ripe. I know when I tried our ice cream banana, it wasn't quite ripe. Had kind of a nasty taste to it. This one is ripe. Really, really good. Um, tastes a little strawberry to me, actually. Uh, I feel like I have a lot of strawberry flavor in there around that banana. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this uh, clump, a rack, I should say, of our namwas and go ahead and hang it up and hopefully get uh, some more of these namwas for our um, food there. I'm very excited. Here's that large grouping of new bananas coming out. Uh, these guys, just to start, are, are giant compared to the ones that I just harvested. So looks like we're going to have a really great rack coming off of there. Wanted to really quick point out with growing our bananas, uh, what I found to be the best thing is this heavy mulch. Bananas love, love, love that mulch. And then you don't really have to water them as often either. Even in the summer, since I have about this foot, foot, well, it's about six inches right now, but it's usually about a foot of mulch. I end up only having to water these bananas, deep water it uh, once every two weeks. Even in the summer, even last summer when we had that 115 degree kind of record heat, uh, only once every two weeks, which was awesome. So definitely a testament to that mulch, to maintaining and withhold and holding in that moisture that's down there. It does a really great job. And so the last thing I'm gonna do, now that I've harvested this uh, rack of bananas here from this stock, I have to actually take this stock out. It's of no use anymore. It is done. It served its purpose. Remember in a banana plant, 
the actual plant itself is below the ground it's the corm and then each of these pups each of these sprouts that come up is one of those stalks uh, that then produces that banana there so i'm going to go ahead and take this out real quick on camera i'm just going to basically go in and at the bottom here i'm going to go and i'm going to saw as close as i possibly can to the to the ground i'm just going to saw it off and the banana stock is going to fall down and uh, obviously make way for uh, hopefully some new dwarf Namwa pups here in the near future. All right, so that's really it. Um, that was harvesting a dwarf Namwa banana bunch. Uh, I have that rack right here, uh, still on the smaller side, but um, I grew it here in Phoenix, Arizona. I get to eat food that I grew myself and any day I can say that sentence. Uh, or that statement is definitely a win in my book. So uh, really excited to uh, eat the rest of these miniature bananas. And hopefully here in the near future with that giant rack that's above my head, we get some really good, really big dwarf Namwa bananas at the end of summer. It's all cleaned up, uh, took out that um, stock and uh, left room for some new pups to come out. If you guys have any questions about our bananas in general, our dwarf Nama bananas, harvesting bananas, harvesting any of our other tropical fruit trees or growing our other tropical fruit trees, please feel free to comment below. Um, you can follow us on social media as well for any additional green content. And of course, make sure you like and subscribe if you enjoyed what you saw today. As always, live green, plant lots, and of course, have fun. We'll see you guys next time.